So the key finding, I think, from the pioneers of light debate about uh, IoT was it's happening. Lighting designers need to be ready for it. Uh, as long as the quality of light is there, which I'm sure it will be, I think lighting designers need to, uh, need to use it and they need to enhance their projects with IoT and co-creation is a big part of that with the data collection. So I think it's here and it is to be embraced. So IoT real-time data can drive co-creation, especially when it comes to prototyping. So the idea is that now we can build prototyping platforms which are informed by real data and help decision makers, designers, everyone involved in the co-creation to make more informed decisions. I'm really interested in the trend in the lighting industry just now for lighting to cross new boundaries. Uh, so moving into the sphere of um, data information, uh, data sharing, um, bringing people together in new dynamic ways, helping vegetation to grow in the city environment where it was never possible before. So really the lighting industry is changing, it's having to evolve and expand and we're really excited about being a part of how that transformation happens and um, what the industry looks like in the next 10 years. We are noticing those that uh, also in Italy the IoT technology uh, is the future and uh, we are uh, working for of this for this also and uh, we are some project that uh, uh, starting also for uh, in this way it's across all aspects of engineering not just lighting i believe but uh, the architecture the mechanical engineering even civil structural and planning and uh, how it can work not just within the first world areas that no doubt this is kind of aimed at but there's third world issues and uh, developing country issues that uh, can also benefit from those sort of uh, aspects of the sustainability goals. I think that uh, one of the aspects that is most important uh, in uh, um, bringing an Internet of Things uh, solution in, uh, in buildings uh, is, uh, is really about the Internet. Uh, it's about this modularity of approach um, that can become um, expressed into modularity of uh, hardware and but also modularity of software so how things interconnect and I think that this is really what is uh, the highest capability of uh, bringing uh, tools to the uh, designers uh, to create better um, experiences and user interaction in buildings. Well we talked a lot about co-creation what I thought was really interesting when we talked about involving the, the, the human and the stakeholders the users into the process early into figuring out what solution it is that we're trying to design is to also make sure that we remain quite open in revisiting some of the uh, recommendations that we've made later in the process because technology evolves so fast. This to me was um, um, a, a sort of extraordinary thing because we tend to think that as we've done co-creation we've actually done the process but we should always remain open. Innovation in you. Philips.